For this video, we'll be breaking down a 3 star unit that you can get through connections, Alexa. She's a proud member of the Order of the Sword and greatly admires Assyria. I find Alexa's skill set to be a bit disappointing as a whole. It's like her S2 and S3 are best friends, but her S1 is a complete loner. She's good when you're running wyvern hunts, since you can fully utilize all her skills. For now, let's have a look at her and talk about each skill in detail. Alexa's first skill, Fell, deals damage and will grant an extra attack if it lands a critical hit. It's a pretty nice skill since it gives her more total damage output. The great thing about this skill is that unlike Dust Devil, where it only activates if the target survives, Fell can hit up to 2 targets. What I mean by this is that if her first attack kills the enemy, her second attack will attack a second target, if it exists. Unfortunately, dual attacks will not trigger Fell's extra attack, and I'm not quite sure why. It might be something to do with the once per turn restriction, maybe it's only limited to her turn exclusively. If this is the case, I'll have to assume counter does not trigger this effect as well. It's a poor choice of wording, and it's the same with a lot of other units and artifacts, but what can we do? Another thing to note about this skill is that her extra attack will not consume buffs or debuffs on Alexa because both attacks happen on the same turn, and that's a good thing. Alexa's second skill, called Edge, has an 80% chance to inflict poison effects for two turns. To many people, this may be misleading, and it is. Rather, it has an 80% chance to inflict poison for two turns, and it triggers twice. So if the first poison is resisted, there's still a chance for the second stack of poison to apply. This also increases her combat readiness by 30% whenever she uses this skill. Using 20 soul burn will ignore effect resistance, which means you will always apply 2 poisons. This skill is kinda meh, but she works well in wyvern hunts, especially in stages below 10, since with this alone, it is enough to stop the boss from attacking more than once if both poison hits. In my opinion, using soul burn on this skill to maximize your damage on her S3 is a waste. I'd rather spam her S1 instead since it will yield more damage. Those 20 soul burn will be useful elsewhere. The only time I would consider using it is during wyvern hunt when the boss is about to attack and you don't have enough debuffs on the boss. Alexa's third skill, Crushing Blow, deals damage based on the number of debuffs currently on the target. This synergizes pretty well with her second skill, but if you ask me, it's best if she gets some of those sources from other units. That way, you can utilize this skill beyond what Alexa can achieve by herself. Hard debuffers such as Kiris, Surin, and Aramintha are good candidates, but if you're looking for a unit with the same element, then you can pair her with either Sigrid or Clarissa. Sigrid can stack two bleed effects on her S1 and has an healable and another bleed effect on her S2, while Clarissa has defense break on S1 and two bleed effects on S3. But if you don't have any of them and you want to find a way to integrate her in a team, as long as you have a defense breaker and maybe another unit who can inflict a different type of debuff. Heck, even a ranger unit equipped with Song of Stars is good enough. Having at least 3 debuffs on the target before using this skill should be enough to do decent damage. In the end, the more, the better. Now, before I talk about which skills to enhance, I want to explain the two ways to build Alexa. First, you can either solely rely on her S1, or play around inflicting debuffs and nuking the target using S3. The easiest and resource friendly way is to rely on her S1. It's ridiculous since that's pretty much all you need. Pair it with a good artifact and some decent crit chance, then you can pretend that the other skills don't exist. The other way is more expensive and requires another unit to pull off. Alexis S2 alone is not enough 
and you will need hard debuffers like Secret to increase Alexis S3 damage. The reason why this is more expensive and harder to use is because you will need to invest on another unit. Aside from that, you also need enough effectiveness to hit those debuffs. It's pretty obvious which one is best, but the second option is there for those who want to find use of her other two skills. Now if you are planning to use only her S1, maxing skill enhancement fell is a good idea. That gives her a total of 30% extra damage. Pretty low compared to other units when max enhancing skills, but you can only enhance it by 3 times which means it consumes less resources. Due to Alexis' extra effect on S1, she can attack twice, so overall that's a total of 60% extra damage. However, if you have a hard debuffer already invested and want to try out the other option, get her S3 to plus 3 for 1 turn decrease which gives her a 4 turn cooldown skill and S2 to plus 5 for 100% chance to apply 2 stacks of poison. If you are using Alexa strictly for Wyvern, then I suggest to get her S2 to plus 5 after maxing her S1. With this, you are more likely to negate one of the boss's skills. For gear composition, Alexa needs crit for her S1's extra effect to trigger. A nice gear set to start if you are new is attack crit set. Make sure not to use unity set since it doesn't trigger her effect. In mid to late game progression, once you have access to other sets, you can change attack set for either speed or destruction set. Both of these sets do require good substats to cover for her attack loss. Speed gives her more turns to spam S1, while destruction set increases damage output of Alexis' attack. Both are good and is entirely up to you based on what's available. If you went YOLO and build her around debuffs, Rage Set is a good set to use since it works well with S3. You can use Health Set for Alexa if you need to, but be sure to have enough crit chance from substats. A main stat of crit chance on Necklace is good if you need it, but if you have enough, go for crit damage. For Boots, either a main stat of speed or attack is good enough. Substats that works for Alexa are the usual stats for DPS such as attack percentage, speed, crit chance, crit damage, and health percentage. But if you are using Alexa for Wyvern, it might be a good idea to swap health percentage with effectiveness just so that she has a slightly more chance to hit her poison. There are a few artifacts that you can use for Alexa. One of the 5 star artifacts that is good for her is R and L. It has a 10% up to 20% chance to grant the caster another turn. This works well with her S1 since it triggers once per turn. This gives her a total of 4 attacks when it triggers. This also gives her other skills reduced cooldown, an overall great artifact. For 4 star artifact, it's between Elia's Knife and Dust Devil. Elia's knife grants piercing to attacks by up to 20% as long as the target is not max HP. This works with Alexa since she attacks twice, and if she attacks an enemy at full HP, her second attack will trigger this artifact. Now for Dust Devil, there's a bit of a clash in effects. Alexa's extra attack can hit up to two targets, but Dust Devil doesn't work when the target dies. So how does this work on Alexa? You see, it's all about the order of events. When Alexa attacks, there's a chance that Death Devil triggers by up to 30% max. If it does trigger, she will use her second attack from S1's effect first. Now this is the part where it decides whether she gets another set of attack or not. If the target is already dead, then the artifact did not meet its requirements, hence the attack is cancelled. But if the target is still alive, she will attack again. However, the extra effect will not trigger since you can only use that once per turn. 3 star artifacts that Alexa can use is either Daydream Joker or Axe. Joker can trigger on her second attack 
which means it triggers twice when used on a Lexus S1. Axe is there if you don't have enough crit chance. The only situation I found Alexa to shine in is Wyvern, since her debuffs can reduce the number of attacks from the boss. Her HP pool is pretty low and may die if the boss attacks her twice. You can still use her outside of Wyvern, but compared to other units, she doesn't have much value. Most of her damage does come from her S1, and that extra attack is what makes this skill good. Her S3 does do a lot of damage, but it heavily relies on debuffs. She has no other use in PvP aside from doing damage from her S1. Poison is useless in PvP, and DOT focused teams generally don't work all the time. People with Angelica, Dien, or other units that have cleanse or immunity will make it difficult for you to land debuffs which in turn makes it hard to pull off a good use of her S3. And yeah, that's pretty much it about my thoughts on Alexa. I think the reason why not a lot of people talk about her or even use her is because of her restriction. Restriction on PvE content use aka Wyvern. And if you are using her outside Wyvern, most of the time you will be spamming S1 and forget about her other skills. Doesn't sound that exciting or fun, but hey, it's not like she needs the other skills, right? I'm pretty sure I'm missing a few things about Alexa. I don't really use her that often, so I appreciate any comments that would help everyone regarding her. If you haven't, subscribe to see more content, and I'll see you on the next video. Rover out.